exciting day. It is Meredith's birthday party. And by today, I mean tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean for you, I, this past weekend. I'm going to throw together a Little Mermaid birthday party. It is, the way I throw birthday parties is more, it's not like bare minimum, but I also don't think it's like super extravagant. It's right in the middle. I do what I can, but I try to keep it like vintage style, homemade, if you will. There's a lot of things that I'm gonna put together, a lot of things that I bought for her birthday party. It's a Little Mermaid themed birthday party. I don't know if I said that. I also got her a Little Mermaid costume princess dress is little mermaid a princess apparently i'm pretty sure she is moral of the story is i have to find that because i've been collecting things for this party for quite some time and of course amazon was my best friend when i was planning this party and pinterest i have a lot of things uh play sand slime who am i some arts and crafts to keep the kids busy and the big hoorah is going to be the obstacle course bounce house which is always so much money but the kids love it a lot. So money well spent, I think. I literally just ordered the food for her party. I've been doing that for the past few years and I don't order all the food. I do like sandwich platters and for this instant, chicken platters and stuff too. It just takes a load off my shoulders. I feel like I have enough to deal with. And I do put together the fruit and veggie trays because I feel like I save a ton of money doing them myself. Whereas the sandwich platters, like I could put them together myself, but I don't. Especially with the cost of deli meat these days, I'm like, it's just the, it's fine. I'm gonna put together a photo drop wall, so I'm gonna gather the supplies and then show you everything that I got. My bed isn't made, don't judge me. Look, I can't find the costume anywhere. I need to find it. It's not even in the last place I looked. I looked everywhere. I bet you sometimes when that happens, it's in the first place I looked. I'm just gonna keep an eye out. It might be in, I don't know, but I do have a whole other box of goodies. Pretty basic stuff here. I am missing the play sand. Alex picked that up yesterday from Lowe's. It's like a 50 pound bag of play sand for, I don't know, around $6, which is fantastic. So if you're looking for something to keep your kids busy, you don't even need to get a sand table or anything. If you have one of those, great. Oh, I say sand table. It's a water table. We used to put sand inside of it and Whoa, the kids love it so much. It's a texture thing. It's like a imagination thing. It's amazing. It'll keep the kids busy for a long time and it costs you $6. So if you have a tarp or something, spread that out, throw the sand on top. Even if you don't, just throw it on the ground. It's sand and the kids will play in it and it's a 50 pound. I mean, 50 pounds sounds like a lot. It's not a super ton, but it's way more than I'm going to need to make the play sand slime. I don't know what it's actually called, but it's gonna look like, oh crap, I forgot to buy shells. Okay, well see, I should have done this a while ago because I'm sure there are more things that I forgot to order, like decorations for her cake. Afterthought, whoops, ordered them yesterday. They should be in today. But the stuff that did come in was this one gallon of clear glue, so I guess we're gonna make a heck of a lot of slime. This, oh my gosh, this was like the catalyst, but behind me and Meredith wanting to do a mermaid party. Obviously I let her pick. It's not like I push her to do anything. I would literally do anything that she wanted to do. But this oyster, I think, and it comes with a pearl. It's like an inflatable, remember those inflatable furniture pieces that we all had in what, middle school, high school, depending on how old you are. They phased out by the time you were born. Maybe you had them in elementary. Who the heck knows? Maybe your great grandma had some, but this would be really cute for the backdrop. So for the backdrop, I'm either gonna use some streamers to make it look like seagrass, or I did buy like an actual backdrop, whichever one I don't use, I'm just going to return. And then this is some balloons. I thought, I didn't know I had to like blow them up and assemble them. So these are like centerpieces. There should be two of them. Table centerpieces just to give it some more pizzazz. These are clear balloons, but they look yellow to me. I think there should be a hundred in here, even though I only need probably 10. The price is on Amazon, it's like, how can you say no? And then I got these wooden pieces. This will be like an arts and craft for the kids to do. I don't remember how many are in here, but a substantial amount, 40, 50, 60, something like that. And they're just sea creatures, so the kids will just color them. I got these tempera paint. Oh gosh, wait, are these washable? I thought I got the washable ones. I feel like, yeah, these are washable. Uh, paint sticks. And then I'm gonna buy some markers too. So when I'm out today, remind me to get some markers. And then just for decoration to throw on a table or maybe the backdrop, I'm not sure. I got these like nets, like a C net. 
not really it's like just for decoration and then we got some more balloons one of our friends is going to come over and blow a bunch up apparently it's all the rage you just blow up a bunch of balloons and honestly kids love balloons so we'll see how it goes and then oh wait this is the decorate no okay a bunch of sea life decorations just again for the table just to pop things off and then i got some mermaid diy beads okay see i thought this in the picture on amazon it came in a case so let me see what it actually comes in. Okay, well looky here. It comes with the things to make a bracelet or a necklace or something. Oh, and they're colored. Look how cute that is. And then I like this one, even though, oh my gosh, does it only come with one mermaid charm? I could cry. So funny. It does have some shells and then beads. So this is, this will be a project for them to do another arts and craft. And then I got these. I don't know if I'm going to make popcorn with just some sprinkles and stuff, but I did get some sprinkles and stuff. This, it has like mermaid tails in it. And so I thought these were really cute. That'll be fun. And then I got this candle because she's turning four. Can you even believe? That'll be for the cake. They, these are um, tattoos, which she is really into. I think I made a mistake. I don't think I ordered enough tattoos here. And then I did definitely get enough lollipops, but probably not. There are 12 in each pack and I got three packs. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot I got these shells. We can decorate these, put marker on them, paint, whatever. So I think there, I don't know how many are in there. It looks like a lot. I thought they were larger. Remember at, the, at all those thrift stores we went to, we, I kept seeing those shells, the huge ones. And I was like, ah, oh, whatever, I'm gonna, you know, I should have bought them for this. Um, anyway, I got the shells before I got those, but I think it'll be a good mix. People can just color all over them. I got this just to decorate and give the tables a little more pizzazz, a little more oomph, a little more prettiness. And I got these gems to put on the arts and crafts or their bodies if they so please. Got some tablecloths and I think that's it. Now I need to go get some food. All right, first thing I'm gonna start on is the backdrop. And wow, was this a lot more time consuming than I thought it would be. You know, I see things on Pinterest a lot of times and I think, oh, that looks awesome. Surely I can do that. You know, because sometimes I see things that are, I know I have to be realistic and tell myself, wow, that is out of my wheelhouse. I don't think I'll be able to recreate that. And then a lot of times, other times, I'll see things like this and I'll think, yeah, like that's a streamer and a balloon and like a couple other things and I can totally recreate that. In this case, I was able to recreate it and surprisingly, I surprised myself, it looked pretty good. And it was very simple to put together and it only needed a couple of ingredient ingredients, a couple of things to put it together. So these streamers, while this was time consuming, I taped all the streamers to the wall um, I don't remember how long this took, 30 minutes around that time frame, And I would even go to, let's say 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. Depending on how fast you move. I used three different colors of three different, um, streamers, obviously, but I had plenty left over and this was a very big wall. I saw it on Pinterest where it went down a hallway and they weren't this close together. Um, but I thought for a backdrop, I would want them a little closer together. So that's what I did. And then I thought I would just leave it at that. And then I saw this little bit left and just decided to do the rest. A couple of them I forgot to fold, you know, twist them a couple different ways. And I tried to do it like curls in your hair where you're supposed to spin one way with a few and then spin the other with <laughs> some other ones. So all in all, I think it looks pretty amazing. I'm swimming in the ocean. That's what it feels like. And then just to add different layers, because I feel like that's what it's all about with interior decorating and everything like that, even though I'm not good at it, I can see a picture and recreate it, right? And the picture I saw had this like netting and I got this off of Amazon. It's kind of like a fishnet, if you will, fishnet, something like that. And I just think it adds a little dimension, adds a little bit of character, hides the tape a little bit, not really, but it does get, you know, give another layer, another element of fun. And uh, this oyster definitely had trouble blowing this up. 
Um, so that took me a long time too. And then blowing up the balloons, you guys, you'll see later in the video, my fingers are, were bleeding. I'll just leave it at that. And then I'll explain more as we go along. But these little bubbles, these clear balloons are acting as little bubbles under the sea. And I thought those were fun. Could I have added more? Sure. But I don't think it was necessary. I think this gave off the element of fun an adventure just like that. And hey, look at that, my lung capacity. I'm just kidding. I did not blow that up with my lungs. We had someone over with like an air compressor or something and they blew it up, which was amazing. So the little oyster with a pearl, so adorable. I love that. Sweetest little backdrop. Was it worth the money? I don't really know. It was expensive, <laughs> that, that inflatable, but it was Worth the picture, I'll say that. Okay, so now I've moved on to recreating slime. We are not a slime household. I banned slime from this house. However, Meredith loves it. And so I thought for her birthday, I'll make something special. Okay, sand slime. And I actually think this was a really great recipe. And, you know, with all recipes, you kind of have to adapt to texture and stuff. So I threw together, oh gosh, I quadrupled the recipe. So I think I had like 24 ounces of glue and the glitter I threw in, wow, it, it was an event. I had to like scoop that out of one of Meredith's drawers. She had spilled glitter the other day and it was like the perfect color for what I wanted in this sand. So anyway, I used the slime ingredients of contact solution as an activator and baking soda. I know there are like a probably a bunch of different ways to make slime. I had the slime expert herself come in and tell me, how to make this better, how to make a good texture. And she told me it needed more activator. So I threw in a little bit more contact solution and baking soda and um, it was all good. So I think the actual recipe called for, I'll give you the measurements for just one, six ounces clear glue, half a tablespoon of baking soda, one tablespoon contact solution, add in a quarter cup to a half cup of play sand and stir it together until combined. And it's supposed to last up to two to three days. And can I just tell you, I, one, I quadrupled the recipe and then I had to add a little bit more contact solution and baking soda. And then I actually made two batches of this. And the second time around, I did add a little bit more sand and the kids seem to enjoy that texture a little bit better too. So I'm just throwing that out there if you're making this. And the blog post says it provides hours of fun and I can confirm. It is amazing. You guys, I put it out during the party and then kind of regretted it. So I put it in a spot where not everyone was hanging out. So only a few people got to play with it. They absolutely loved it. I'll tell you that. But then once the party, you know, I use party in quotes because it's always a party over here. There's always a party going on around here. And after the party was the after party. And that's when the bigger kids came out and literally played with this slime for hours. Uh, hours. It's so much fun, but it's an outside toy for sure. And here's a little hack if you get it on furniture or cloth or your clothes and you're like, oh man, it's ruined because we, that's happened to us so many times in the past. Uh, use vinegar. There's a hack. Don't wash it. Just use vinegar and it'll like slide right off. It's incredible. Vinegar is magic in a bottle. So if you're worried about that. And then of course, like after I made it, all the kids came it's like milkshake. Bring all the kids to your yard with the slime. My slime brings all the girls to the yard. Girls and boys alike. Okay, now I'm moving on to, what is this called? Ocean water. You guys you guys know I'm all about water. It purifies the soul. I We very rarely do drinks like this, but I will say it was a complete hit. So it was an entire container of Hawaiian punch. It, that's so much. And then this like 64 ounce can of pineapple juice. I actually think it was like 48, but it calls for 64. And then a cup, like two liters of Sprite. I use off-brand. It's whatever. It was crazy. I took a sip and I was like, whoa. It was wild and crazy, but everyone really enjoyed it. <laughs> At one point, the bottle was leaking and I thought it was fine. It was fine for a couple hours, but then into the party, it like started leaking. I don't know. Well, I know what happened, but it's a long story. I'll get there. Anyway, I had to put the jug into my, like my little prep sink over here and people were still getting the juice out of it. So I was like, okay, it's a hit. 
So if you're looking for something like that, it's ocean water. And then these lollipops that I got, these were a hit too. So cute and adorable. Not sure if those were worth the price. Oh, and then I went on Canva really quickly and just printed up a little label for the ocean water. I used the same frame as we used for lemonade during our summer party. And when the kids do like their lemonade stand, I just covered it with this one. I just got a mermaid tail and you can do art or whatever on your do people have like word document use art anymore I just got a little mermaid tail and then typed up mermaid ocean water and there it is super darling I thought I just added a little element of fun I'm not one to like name all the food but I thought that was worth it so the next morning I got some stuff done this morning and I'm looking around my house and I'm like there I have I have so much to do I don't know how I'm gonna get it done I'm trying to eat for the first time and it's like 4 p.m. I probably maybe should have waited to decorate for Christmas until after her party. There's like Christmas stuff. I mean, it's not that bad. We don't have a ton of stuff everywhere, but I wanna finish this garland, which probably I won't get to. I'll probably just take the stuff off of that little seat and throw it in my room so no one will see it. Next up, I'm gonna decorate the cake. Oh my gosh, I didn't even show you upstairs yet. What we did upstairs is gonna blow your mind. I'll show you when I go upstairs, but for the cake, I obviously bought a cake because the amount of money it takes to make a cake, like in butter alone, it's cheaper to just buy one at Costco. They're $13 and you get a massive cake. And I ordered cupcakes because those seem to go. People are much more likely to eat cupcakes, so I always order cupcakes too. Well, normally I make them, but I just order them for convenience too. And then I realized, oh, I didn't buy any cupcake toppers. It'll be fine. I have some sprinkles. We'll make it work. But for the cake, Meredith was really excited about it. So I'm gonna make some icing, I'm like dragging my feet. It's such a process making icing, but I'm wanting to make this cake special for her because that's what she wants and so that's what I'm gonna work. I just got some stuff down. I wonder if there's like a mermaid party in here. It's like the things that I shouldn't be spending my time doing is exactly what I'm doing. I bet you there's gotta be like some kind of party board. There's a happy birthday board, a princess board, and then a summer board. I think I'm gonna go with happy birthday. When I told you I was eating breakfast, I lied. I'm eating mozzarella stick. <laughs> the kids just cooked them. And it reminds me of this meme where it was like, hey, do you want seven cheese sticks? No. Oh, how about I bread them and then deep fry them? How many would you like? <laughs> I'll take 10. Why are they so good? By the way, I found the mermaid costume and now I'm like, it's not the little mermaid. Oh, you can't even see it. It's like a shell. I hope she likes it. <laughs> Turns out she loved it, even though it wasn't The Little Mermaid. And spoiler alert for one of her gifts, she did receive the little, actual Little Mermaid uh, costume. So she's been loving that. She, you, I mean, I don't know if you know, but she loves princess dresses. Every princess, she loves them. She loves, you know, dressing up in princess dresses. So it's so much fun for her and I love it. And she actually loves Little Mermaid. And have you seen The Little Mermaid movie in quite some time? because it's a little weird, not gonna lie, but I'm glad she likes it. She likes all of them. There's like a second one where she has a daughter. There's the live action one that's pretty new. I digress. <laughs> I'm trying to take a picture of her. That's my pink phone right there. You know, trying to get it before the party ensues, before chaos happens, and before everything just kind of falls apart. I was very worried that Wolfgang would come and just destroy this backdrop because it's tissue paper, you know? Surprisingly, he touched it a couple times, but, you know, I diverted his attention elsewhere and he didn't really mess with it so I was happy about that and she's just telling us about her costume right now it's so cute oh my gosh I can't even believe it she's four years old four where does the time go you know they say time is a thief and I'm gonna jump on that train all right moving on I am starting the buttercream icing this well listen we had a blind taste test this icing one hands down far and above okay I had several taste testers. I'll tell you this. It is the best buttercream icing you'll ever make in your life. And there's a little technique to it. It's not just about the ingredients, okay? So two sticks of butter, softened butter, throw it in, whip it up. You gotta give it a nice whip. So I just let it go for five plus minutes until it's nice and pale white. And then I add three cups of powdered sugar, let that fluff together. And then paddle attachment is best, but I had my whisk attachments on there. And then three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. And then I added another half cup of the powdered sugar. And that's it. That's it. That's the best icing 
you're ever going to make in your entire life. It is so creamy and dreamy and delicious. And by the way, I was making that in my Bosch mixer. Whenever I show that on camera, people always ask like what the heck it is. It, I'm able to facilitate like it holds more ingredients than my KitchenAid, probably double. It's amazing. I love it. So whenever I'm making a big batch of something, I always pull that out and it's awesome. It was gifted to me. They are very pricey. I'll just say that, but I absolutely adore it. And then I made some mac and cheese because it is a favorite amongst kids. And I just went the easy route. I've made the crock pot mac and cheese before, but you guys, cheese is so expensive, like so expensive. So I went the easy route. Whenever Publix has the um, Cracker Barrel mac and cheese, buy one, get one free, I always load up on it. I literally spent what? $8 making four portions of the mac and cheese because, you know, we're feeding a crowd over here. And it cost me literally as much as one block of cheese would have cost. Just one. And you need way more than that to make. So I'm just saying like cost effective is and it tastes really good too. People are like, this is great back. And I was like, thank you so much. It is not it's semi homemade. Can we say that? Kind of. I don't know. I'm the queen of semi homemade over here. Speaking of this cake, also kind of semi homemade. Let's call it that. (laughs) Sure. So I got the cake from Costco because again, cost effective and convenient. I don't have to sit there and make a cake. Making a cake is time consuming. You know, you got to make you got to wait for it to cook. You got to wait for it to cool down and all that good stuff. You got to ice it. The best part about this is this was iced and the one batch of icing that I made, I used to like coat the top. Like you need so much icing to ice a cake. And this was just a smaller cake because I knew I had cupcakes coming. But surprisingly, some people were waiting for the cake and they loved the cake. I'll say that. Um, Alex did say it was homemade. He was confused. So if you were here and you had a slice and you're like, wow, that's amazing. Um, I will take credit, but I didn't make it. (laughs) Anyway, so I'm just putting on the little accessories for the cake, if you will, the cake toppers. And I just got this as a set off Amazon, really quick and easy, like hardly any effort involved. And then once I got a few on, I knew Meredith wanted to help me. Meredith and Eleanor helped me over here. And I wasn't sure where to put the happy birthday or even if we wanted to put it on there, but there it is. And I just, I, I couldn't find blue icing. Let me say that. I couldn't find blue icing, but I did find purple. So I figured, whatever, it's good enough. You know, isn't Little Mermaid purple or mermaid parties are typically like purple and greens and blues, whatever. So you can barely even tell that it's tinted purple. I guess I should have maybe done more purple, but I didn't. And it's good enough. And Meredith loves purple and pink and all things like that. So I figured she would be happy with it. And I'm just letting her throw the things wherever she wants and kind of, I mean, it's her cake. You know what I mean? No fuss, no frills and thrills and all that good stuff. This is what it's all about, making memories on your birthday and helping decorate the cake is surely one of them. So I always make sure to have her help out if she wants to, obviously. And um, she was busy doing, like, listen, the bounce house had already arrived. And so the kids were mostly outside playing on the bounce house. Otherwise, she would have been in here helping me ice it and stuff because she likes to do that too. So here is the final reveal. The number four did not come with the kit. I'll say that, but it I think it ties everything together. It's so beautiful, minimal effort, maximum results. And that's what it's all about in my mind. Like I see all these things, listen on Instagram, Pinterest, where they buy very specific things that cost a lot of money, like a tray to hold this. And I'm like, when am I ever going to use that again? There are certain things where I spend money on where I'm like, okay, I know this is probably one time use like this tablecloth, but that's, it's like meant to be thrown away. (laughs) But other things where I think, okay, well, if I bought all those specialty little like holders, I mean, it adds up really quickly to hundreds of dollars. So that's what I was talking about the beginning of the video where I say, you know, on a scale of one to 10, I feel like I fall somewhere in the middle where yes, I do go above and beyond on some things, but other things, other people go way far and above and beyond what I even do. So I'm just trying to give very simple because that's my life right now. I needed to be quick. I needed to be easy. And what was not easy is this, the centerpieces I got for what, I don't know why, but I didn't know they were balloons. And from the night before, you'll see in a minute, I keep talking about it. My fingers were bleeding. (laughs) My fingers were so sore. I could not even tie these balloons. So I had Avelina come in and help me. 
I listen, I'm not good at balloons. I've never done a balloon arch. That's not my style. I just, it's too much time, energy, effort, too much of it. And I don't have enough of it to put into a, sim- a balloon arch, you know, and I'm definitely not going to pay someone to do it because have you looked in the price of balloon arches? Insane. Like, I'm not kidding. They start at 500 and just go up from there. Okay. Anyway, so I thought these centerpieces would be a hit. No, it turns out, oh gosh, we even just these two itty bitty little centerpieces, we put in so much time and effort into making them. And it was way too windy that day. They didn't even stay. <laughs> so it was just a mess and chaos. But we tried, try as we might. And I got my little like trifle dish out and put a bunch of goldfish in because you can't have a mermaid party without some under the sea fish, some goldfish, nice and easy for the kids to eat. And surprisingly, not many of them ate them. So there's that. I know it's like not one of the best things to eat, but us what ups. So these little decorations they're felt and I thought these were great they were oh my gosh and then the bounce house you guys I wish I'm gonna try to contact my friend I think she got footage of the inside but there may have been a lot of people in there so I'm gonna see what I can if I can add it in here but this was chuggy choo choo here it is I got the clip from my friend okay so this is the entrance it was a double entry you just had to like separate that right there and I cut some clips out obviously because there were other kids in here but I think you get the gist of how amazing it was there was a slide a couple things to jump over an obstacle course area you know what I mean and then the end and indoor it was like all enclosed an obstacle course bounce house and we went inside and it was amazing it was way roomier than I thought it would be way more magical and the you know way to get in and out was a little questionable I'll say that if you caught a glimpse of what it looked like but the kids had so much fun the littler kids it was a little intimidating for them at first because when you you know first get in it's like woo what and it's enclosed but you know normally a big kid would go in them in there with them initially just to get them over the little you know hump and then they loved it so I don't know what fabric this is chiffon or something I'm not big on fabric I just got it from Joann's I love the color I loved how it was kind of sheer it added some dimension to the table this is just the arts and crafts tables that I'm putting together and I ruined it by just snipping it like that and I remembered I saw her do it in the craft store when she was, you know, cutting it for me and she just snipped it and then just pulled it and it made a clean, even line. So if you ever get this fabric, hey, try this out, okay? Because it worked out beautifully. And then I just threw them on the table and kind of, this, obviously, I did not think of this on my own. I don't have many original thoughts, <laughs> but I am able to implement what I see in pictures, okay? I'm very good at, you know, taking inspiration and then putting it to life. So I'm just throwing all the arts and crafts on here and I drew my inspiration from Pinterest. Where else? And I got these marker. They're not even markers. They're like tempura paint pens. They were a hit. They were fantastic. Um, People were raving about them and it's unlike any other thing that I've had before. And it, I want to say they're washable. They didn't really get on anything. Actually, I don't know if they're washable. I just washed that, um, like the white tablecloth and it has a little stain on it. So I'm going to have to work on that. I didn't put stain remover on it. It's my fault. Anyway, these wooden pieces, the gems, the pens, the, the paint, whatever it is, hit, 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 hit after hit. Uh, the kids really enjoyed doing stuff like this. So, you know, when I say kids, I mean like kids of all ages because I have a big age range over here. Of course, I'm trying to cater toward the four-year-olds that are coming to the party. But also we've got cousins, we've got, you know, my Older kids had a few friends over. So I'm trying to cater toward all the ages as I often try to do. And arts and crafts are a great way to do that because it's like who doesn't want to create something? You know, it's like fun. And that's all I can say about that. Uh, And then Meredith, I'm showing you how the like uh, pen kind of works. Pen, but whatever it's called. Marker, the paint thing. It's uh, I wish I would have got a better shot of it, but it was very cool. And it's twistable. So there you go. Kind of more of the texture of a crayon, but m- more slippy. I would say, ooh, maybe like a lipstick, if you will. All right. Anyway, here's the second table. I just threw the shells on here, which were not as big of a hit. Uh, but I will say I would have gotten two of these, even though they didn't use all the beads. That was a definite hit. It was just like the amount of people that were trying to get beads at one time. I wish I had, you know, 
more to offer them where they weren't like climbing over each other, you know? So the bracelets were a definite hit. So I would definitely do that again, but not the shells. You know, people made them, but they weren't as big as the the wooden pieces. And then these, I tried to put them on the table. It was windy. They fell over. As, that's as long as they stayed. I'll tell you that. Oh my gosh. What else was a hit? The macaroons. The macaroons. I'll tell you. Hey, macaroons. So good. I'm telling you. I saw a little picture on Pinterest that made it look, made a macaroon look like an oyster with a pearl. I went out of my way to get these sprinkles. I could not find them. And you know what? The size I got, I got this like pack of unicorn sprinkles and it had just these white pearls in it. And I said, that's good enough. I'll make it work. The Pinterest, I think, had a bigger pearl, but also it's like a choking hazard. So I didn't put it in all of them. I did get two packs of these macaroons from Costco. Pretty affordable. They always have them during the holidays, which is awesome and worked out for us anyway. So I put out both of the packs of macaroons and like people loved them. Okay, when I tell you they were a hit, they were a hit. Kids were gobbling at them before the party even began. We had some cousins over. Can I have one? I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. Anyway, I didn't put the pearls in all of them because I thought it would, it was kind of like, you know, first of all, it was time consuming. And I was like, the party is about to begin. I got to get the show on the road. And so I just threw the rest up there. But then in my head, I, was, I made an excuse. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's a choking hazard. I don't want them in all of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm just setting the table, throwing all the food on there. And uh, it kind of worked out with, the fruits and vegetables. Oh, the tattoo station, you guys, I, I'm so, I'm the worst. I didn't even put it out, but you know what? My kids love them, so <laughs> they'll be able to play with them. And also, I was disappointed at the amount of tattoos that came out. Not just the amount, but how small they were as well. And I think it would have been enough for the amount of kids that were here, but I, ju- I just slipped my mind. I didn't put it out. Whatever happens, whatever I do, as soon as the party starts and people start showing up, that's it. <laughs> like, I feel like I don't do it. Anything after that point, and except for like mingle and do, I don't know, I feel, obviously we're doing every little thing because we're the hosts, but if something isn't set up, I'm not like continuing to set stuff up or chop up vegetables or fruits or anything. And what I always say is, however much fruit you're planning for a party, plan more. Get more than that because fruits and vegetables are the first to go. I didn't even have time to throw the vegetable tray together. I didn't have time to... Um, I had cantaloupe in the fridge. I think I had bought more fruit, but the good news is Thanksgiving is like tomorrow. So I'll be able to just use that. And obviously it's stuff we eat anyway, so it works out, but that's just my tip for you. If you are planning, oh, here's the only shot I got of the food table, lots of chicken, a couple thing, and I didn't even get all of it, but just know there was a lot of food and not all of it has to be like cutesy mermaid style. Like people got to eat too, you know? Okay. Upstairs. This is the main attraction. Isn't this incredible? Listen, this was not our idea. And uh, we, like I said, I've never made a balloon arch before. So I'm making up for all the lost years of balloons. And here it is. I wish I could, like, this doesn't do it justice. There were balloons everywhere. So many balloons. Then the kids don't let their leisurely walk here fool you. First of all, they're the older kids and they slept upstairs (laughs) the night before. So they were used to this. Oh my gosh. The first time they saw it, I mean, endless amounts of play. They loved the balloons. I'm trying to get just a picture of Meredith before all her friends show up and chaos ensues. So, I mean, such an impactful experience this was. I think it'll be a memory that they'll remember for the rest of their lives, just having this amount of balloons like in one area. And then, of course, they flew into the theater room and stuff too. So, I mean, and they're in the bathroom too. At one point of the party... The adults came upstairs and threw them over the balcony and the joy on the kids' faces were was so magical. They just had such a great time. And you'd think like balloons. Oh, let me make a balloon arch. No, don't even make it. Just leave the balloons on the ground. We had friends come over. They came up with this idea. It's a tradition of theirs that they do. So they said, hey, let it, let me help you do this. And boy, did they. They came over armed with their like air compressor. I mean, they knew what they were doing. They were ready to get it started. And we had just a few adults up here tying all the balloons. Oh my gosh. I think it, it, this took two hours to complete. Two hours of total fun and uh, fingers blistering and bleeding. <laughs> you know? 
During the process, my fingers were fine, but the next day uh, they were not. And one of our friends, her fingers were like blistering and and she kept going, man, she was a trooper. So I think that was such a fun memory and the kids definitely enjoyed it. So if you're looking for something, just blow up balloons. It'll make an impact. Okay. I needed to make this Sebastian because every time I pulled it up on Pinterest to talk about Meredith's birthday party, she always, she was like, we need Sebastian. We cannot forget Sebastian. So I think at this point, the party maybe had started. So I'm just kind of throwing it together haphazardly, doing my best anyway. And so I was like, okay, I need to make his little crabby paws. And Eleanor was great, my little crafter. She glued, I got googly eyes for it. She glued it. I couldn't even find my toothpick, so I just ripped it off a couple of other like cupcake toppers I had, made it work. And isn't he darling? (laughs) Oh gosh, he was just so cute. So great way to use up a bell pepper if you're making a veggie tray or something. Uh, That was my initial plan, but again, that's as far as I got with the veggie tray. And then I'm just showing a clip of everyone enjoying and making a craft because that's what it's all about. Birthday parties. You got to have some fun. It's more, sometimes when I see birthday parties, it's all about like the cutesy little foods. And yes, that's fun too. But I think um, what I try to focus on more is activities for the kids to do because I don't know. That's just how I do it. <laughs> I think that's more fun for them than cutesy little food. I'm sure they can appreciate both things, but this is more time consuming for them to do. And you know, birthday parties, you got to take some time up. And so while some kids are on the bounce house, some are creating crafts, some are playing in the sand, some are upstairs with the balloons, and some are here playing in the bubbles. I almost forgot to put this out. This bubble machine is the best bubble machine we've ever had. I got it off Amazon a couple of years ago, and it has really held up. I still have bubbles. I bought like four gallons of bubbles from Target when they were on clearance one year after summer for like 50 cents for a two gallon thing. And they're still holding strong. And that's all I throw in there, nice and simple. And the kids, whatever for whatever reason, love bubbles. Uh, time to sing happy birthday. I think I got a couple clips of Meredith's just next to her cake. You can tell she's really into it. <laughs> I tried to get little clips and she's like, oh, well, just let me play with my friends, right? I tried to get clips, you know, without everyone around her. And then her pile of gifts. Man, was it a magical night to remember. Now it's time to say goodbye. Man, the, it's dark outside, the party's over, but also only, we've only just begun. <laughs> now the after party begins. Uh, some people did trickle in a little bit late. <laughs> yeah, how was it? Anyway, it was a great party. I wish I would have gotten more footage. I feel like I didn't get footage of any. Did I even show you the bounce house? It was so random. We went inside. I didn't get footage of the inside. It was very cool and a lot more spacious than you would think. It was huge inside and they were hanging out in there i mean obviously not everyone but some people were hanging out in there to get in and out (laughs) i don't know if you saw it but the kids they had so much fun and i'm so glad some of the littler kids were a little hesitant about it because it was a little intimidating like when you opened it it would puff air back at you to keep everything up so anyway the structural integrity of it i know it's over my head But that was really fun. I think we might rent that one again. Everyone loved it, all age ranges. We went inside too, adults went inside, not all of them, but some of them went inside and surprisingly had a great time. So that was great. I also feel like I didn't get much footage of the food. I had a ton of food. I think I got like a five second clip of me scanning over the table. I bought a lot of the food from Publix, so it was convenient, but a smash hit, it was delicious. I did get a lot, but surprisingly, There's not much left, so that's good. I'd always rather have more food than not enough. And that just means lunch is covered tomorrow because we might be going to Bush Gardens. So I'm excited about that. Lots of exciting things. Meredith is for, it is the last birthday party of the season. I don't know if I shared that with you, but Meredith's birthday party was here, obviously. Eleanor's is next weekend and it is somewhere else. She'll be having like a sleepover with some of her friends here, but it won't be an all out to do. Same with, Wentworth will be having it somewhere else, a skating rink. I'm really excited. There's like a whole theme, the Grinch theme, laser tag with that and skate. I mean, like the things that places have these days is amazing. And then Avelina's is going to be uh, a big old trip. 
Is this lighting better? She's been talking about going, I had the outside lights on. I thought that would be helpful, but I don't think it was. She's been talking about going to medieval times. So we might do it there for her. So uh, when they're in Orlando, they might even go to Wonderworks because I told you how much they love it there. They really do. So they might do a birthday party up there. It's just like her and a few of her friends because obviously however many of them can fit in a car. And then also medieval times is a little pricey. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope this video gave you some inspiration for, first of all, any birthday party to see that you can do it without like going all out and the kids can still have a good time. And then two, if you're throwing a mermaid party, I think I gave you some pretty good inspiration on that. I don't know, the arts and crafts. Uh, obviously you can do a lot more things, but I try to keep it basic and streamlined and uh, to the point, pretty simple. So I hope you enjoyed. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.